everybody, how are you today? I ordered a new foundation that I wanted to try out. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Long Wearing. And I'm hoping I got the right color. You know how that goes. Um, I got it in warm beige, so we shall see how this works. And I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand here and see if I can get it to go. Hold on. There we go. All right, um, it's a pretty nice consistency. So I'm just going to take my foundation brush and swirl it in here. Looks like this might be a little too yellow too, just like my, um, my Catrice. Concealer, let's see, well, I think it's okay. This is an interesting uh, scent. The scent kind of reminds me of paint. <laughs> but since it said it was high end, uh, high coverage, I wanted to give it a try. And then I'm just going to put it over this Catrice concealer that was a little bit too yellow for me and see if it, if it evens it about out a bit. And I think it does. It does seem to even it out a bit. It's not a terrible smell and it's not very... um. It's not overbearing, so. I like it. It is definitely high coverage. Definitely high coverage. And I like the way it feels on my skin. I don't even feel like I'm putting on makeup at all. Very, very nice. Very light. And I really enjoy it. Let's try a different setting on my ring light here and see if maybe... Okay. Yeah, okay. I think it's just going to depend on what kind of lighting I'm in. Where, you know, but I like it. I think it's really nice. The coverage is amazing. And again, I don't even feel like I have makeup on my face. It is just amazing. So now I'm just going to take my sponge and I'm going to Press it into my skin, my sponge. Just make sure it's nicely pressed into my skin. Yeah, I really like it. I like it a lot. Very, very nice. And the color's really not too bad for me, actually. And it just depends on what kind of lighting you're in. Um, whoops. Make this a little... Whoops, no, I just turned it off. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> so there we go. I think it looks really, really nice. It's very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a full face just to, you know, see how everything goes together. So the next thing I'm going to do is I absolutely fell in love with the e.l.f. Beauty Wands. I absolutely love them. This is our little contour wand. And it comes out here, okay? So... I'm just going to contour 
a little bit. Now, I don't know how long these would last, to tell you the truth, but I do like the way they work. And then I'm just going to take my same foundation brush and I am going to just work this contour into my skin. Oh, it's blending really, really nicely with the foundation. Yeah, really, really am impressed with all the products I've been showing you the past couple of weeks. I'm telling you, you find some good beauty channels and they know what they're talking about for sure. Yeah, that's very pretty. So I've got my bronzer on, actually a contour. Very pretty. And then I am going to use my highlighter, my Halo Beauty Wand highlighter from e.l.f. I'm not going to put too much on because last time I put a little bit too much on. And we're just going to put a little bit of highlighter on, not too much. And I'm telling you, my um, pores are not showing through on this at all. So I also used the e.l.f. liquid poreless putty primer on my face and that really makes a big difference too as far as making my pores smaller and and less prominent so yeah so so pretty and I just love the way everything's going on over this uh, foundation it looks really really good and I have found that I really love liquid products liquid and cream products are so much better for a mature skin, I think. And then I'm going to put some of this pretty blush on. And just blend this in. The uh, liquid blush from e.l.f. is very nice. It blends so nicely, and I've, I've really fallen in love with liquid products. I think they look so nice on mature skin, and they don't, you know, accentuate your pores at all. So, really, really impressed with all of this. All of these products, highly, highly recommend every single one of them. And to make sure everything is blended in nicely. And then for a finishing touch, I am going to be using the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. And it claims to last for 24 hours. I'm not sure about that, but... And it smells wonderful. Just wonderful. Very, very nice. So there we go. We have got the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Long Lasting. Absolutely love it. I got it in the warm beige, I believe. 
And yeah, so this is the look that I did last week with the, the eyeshadow and the telescopic mascara. What a difference in my eyelashes. Don't you think? I think it's amazing. I think everything is amazing and I highly recommend it. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Oh, you know what? I forgot one little thing. I also got a new lipstick, okay? You know, with us older women, our, our lips get so dry. And some of these lip stains that I like, they just dry into my fine lines. So I went and I got the L'Oreal. This is supposed to be rich in emollients with aloe and hyaluronic acid, I think. It's got those kind of products in there. And this is the number 560 in Saucy Mauve. All right, so let's give this a try and see. Oh boy. It looks like it got a little bit damaged in shipping. But that's a pretty color. And it is. It's very nice. It's very soft. It actually feels like you, you. I put Vaseline on my lips. That's how pretty it is. So yeah, and that's the last project. This is the L'Oreal. What is it called? Let's see here. I'll put the... Uh, the link in the description. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next time.